are a little way off. I shall write on her behalf uh, and ask the Secretary of State to respond. Bob Blackman. Uh, Madam Deputy Speaker, one of our manifesto commitments was to halve rough sleeping and then end it by the end of this Parliament. And during the pandemic, under the Everyone In programme, we actually achieved it. The Government has thrown a lot of money at uh, uh, attempting to halt rough sleeping, but recent figures demonstrate a 26% rise in the number of people rough sleeping and, indeed, people threatened with homelessness. So could we have a debate in Government time on what action the Department is going to take to actually deliver on our manifesto commitment and end rough sleeping for good? Well, I thank my hon. Friend for, for raising this point, and I know that he is uh, an assiduous campaigner, not just on uh, this matter for his constituents, but, uh, but across the country uh, as well. Um, rough sleeping levels are currently 35 per cent lower uh, than they were um, uh, in, uh, a, a few years ago. Uh, and we clearly had some opportunities during the, the pandemic uh, to, to tackle uh, some of the very difficult uh, issues that, uh, that had uh, been driving people onto the streets. Uh, we need to continue that, uh, and we are putting forward £433 million in the Rough Sleeping Accommodation Programme, which will deliver 6,000 move-on homes and accompanying support services. Andrew Gwynne. Thank you. On Saturday, 